I'm Rebecca on with Money and Tech here at the Bitcoin Job Fair at Plug and Play in Sunnyvale, and I'm joined by Andreas Antonopoulos, one of the organizers of the event. Hi, Andreas. Thanks for joining me. Hi, thanks for having me on this show. I really appreciate it, and I've really enjoyed your previous uh, shows. I think organizer is a bit of a misnomer. I lended my name, and I fully support this, but I actually didn't do most of the hard work to organize it. Uh, that was uh, Scott and Dan and uh, other people from Coinality and other companies, and most importantly, all of the sponsors. So many companies that turned out to hire people and supported us in this great opportunity and this great event today. So what would you say your role was with this event? I primarily lent my name to the cause and really supported bringing out uh, uh, companies to hire people. And, and certainly uh, the company I work for the most, Blockchain Info, is here represented with one of the sponsor tables and we're looking to hire a number of people today. What kind of people are they looking to hire? Um, we're mostly interested in hiring mobile developers as well as uh, DevOps people and infrastructure operations people because like many of the companies in this space, once you become successful in Bitcoin, then you're riding the exponential growth dragon and it's hard to stay on the back. <laughs> that's true, that's true. What other companies here did you help bring to the event that you're particularly excited about? Well, I think all of the other companies that are here, I'm very excited about. I can't single out any one of them because I didn't bring them here. I am actually very grateful for the support in this event. How do you think it's going overall? Uh, it's amazing. First of all, the very words jobs fair haven't been uttered in this country since 2007. Uh, so in a sea of stagnation where no other industry is hiring, or at least hiring aggressively enough to need an event like this, Bitcoin is showing that we're something different. We're something special. This is the little engine of growth in the middle of a stagnant economy. And there's so many companies here that really have tremendous demand because they're pushing innovation and delivering product right now. And they have investments and they have money to spend. And they're looking for highly quali qualified and talented people. And this is the best way to do it. So do you think the turnout of this event was what you expected or is, has it exceeded your expectations? Oh, it's about four times larger than what I expected, for sure, both in terms of the sponsors, but already it's full less than an hour into it, and I'm very impressed with the outcome. Do you think we're going to see a lot more of these job fairs as Bitcoin continues to grow? I can guarantee you we're going to be doing another one right here in a few months uh, at this rate because it's successful. There are even more startups now than when we first started this project, and I think it's going to be interesting to see where the next jobs fair will be. I would guess somewhere in uh, Europe. That would definitely be awesome. <laughs> uh, so what else are you working on right now besides at blockchain.info? Where is your, your focus currently? So the biggest part of my focus is on my book, uh, Mastering Bitcoin, uh, which is being published by O'Reilly Media, one of the most respected names in technology publishing. It's a book for developers and to help people understand how cryptocurrencies work under the hood and how they can write software to cryptocurrencies, to manage cryptocurrencies. Um, Mastering Bitcoin uh, was released in the pre-release for pre-orders about a month ago. It's available for early release. People can go read it online. And most importantly, the entire source code of the book is available on GitHub. You can fork it. You can correct me uh, and send me a pull request with uh, additions and comments on the book. And it's going to be released under Creative Commons license so that everyone can read it for free. What was the process of writing that book like? Did you have a lot of developers collaborating in with you or giving you feedback before you published it? Or is that what you're doing now? That's what I'm doing now. So only the first three chapters have been published and I'm working on chapters four, five, and six as we speak. And we're aiming for a publication date in August of 2014 for the final print copy to come out. And in that time, it's going to be uh, heavily influenced by the comments and feedback I get online. Now, you've been doing a lot of speaking engagements lately as well. Have those, those mostly been to promote the book or this event as well? Or are there other topics that you uh, are particularly excited to talk about right now? Uh, for the most part, I forget to mention the book when I do interviews and speaking engagements to the chagrin of my publisher. And uh, Well, he'll be happy you did it this time. Yeah, this time I made it. Um, no, I've been, I've been really talking about the promise and excitement in the Bitcoin industry and why this is a technology that's going to be tremendously influential in the world. Um, I've been trying to do more and more mainstream events to talk to mainstream audiences outside of the Bitcoin industry um, and to bring more and more people into the fold. Uh, recently, I did the Joe Rogan Experience in Los Angeles, which is a very mainstream podcast, and it was great to have people who are not technical ask me the simple questions that the everyday man wants or woman wants to, uh, to ask about Bitcoin and, and answer those directly. 
And through those efforts, do you see that there is a growing interest in Bitcoin outside of the core community of people who are technical and understand that side of it? Oh yeah, every time we do one of these shows or every time I do one of these events, thousands of people flood into the community and then they tell thousands more people every single day. The growth in this community is exceptional and it's uh, continuing to grow at an exponential rate. What do you think the key to massive growth of the Bitcoin community and adoption is? What do you think we're missing right now that needs to happen next? I don't think we're missing anything. I think uh, the key is tell two people about Bitcoin today. Every one of us needs to tell two more people about Bitcoin every day. Uh, yesterday, I told a Uber driver and uh, the grocery um, shopper I was uh, buying groceries from, the grocery store owner, about uh, Bitcoin. And I gave them some Bitcoin so they could try it out and see for themselves. And I do that every single day if I can. Tell two more people. And is that what you recommend doing for people um, who could tell someone else and help spread the word about Bitcoin? Is it help them use it, help them give them some to practice with? What's your best tactic or advice you would give to somebody in order to go and tell more people about Bitcoin? Well, I think the first thing to realize is that we are the PR department of Bitcoin and not me but everyone in the community. We don't have a PR department. Uh, no one asked me to do what I'm doing. I just stepped up and did it. And everyone can do the same. Talk to your local journalists. Tell them you are a good source. Talk to your local radio station. Uh, talk to every shop owner in your neighborhood. Uh, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your relatives. And then give them some Bitcoin because the best way to experience this incredible invention is to use it. Uh, use it for small amounts. Just give them a couple of dollars, you know, a couple of millibits. And uh, they can do a dozen transactions with that. But most importantly, once they have a wallet, they're going to check the Bitcoin price every day. They're going to show it to other people. And they're eventually going to get more and more involved in the community. This is a viral meme and we need to spread it that way. And what do you think the opportunity for Bitcoin is outside of as a currency? Do you see a lot of potential growing there um, I, on the developing end and here at the Bitcoin Job Fair, as well as in how we communicate it to more people that don't already understand Bitcoin? I think it's still the early days, so a lot of the excitement and enthusiasm right now is concentrated on the Western world and concentrated again uh, on uh, enabling applications uh, such as online commerce and shopping. Which is great because we need that in order to gain momentum as a currency and to build infrastructure as a currency. But in the long run, Bitcoin isn't about shopping in the Western world. Bitcoin is about everything else, everywhere else. And the real opportunity lies in empowering the other six billion. Empowering the billions of people around the world who have very limited access to banking facilities, if any. Uh, have bank accounts that are restricted from international markets and international credit. And bringing the incredible productive capability of the rest of the world online in a flat, uh, equal way. Uh, where they can access all of the resources that we as Westerners, privileged Westerners, take for granted. That excites me. That's what I'm into uh, for Bitcoin. Do you see a lot of companies working on that very problem here at the Bitcoin Job Fair? I see a few companies here that are doing just that. Um, uh, working on, for example, enabling SMS phones, not smartphones, to be able to use Bitcoin. Uh, enabling mobile exchanges and things like that. Um, it's still early days, but I think you're going to see more and more excitement. The rest of the world has really not come online. Even China has only shown minor interest in Bitcoin. We saw what that did to the price. I think uh, as more and more people around the world hear about this and learn about this and then see the tremendous possibilities, uh, this is really going to start igniting uh, a storm around Bitcoin and really creating tremendous opportunity. So what's your prediction for where we'll be, where the Bitcoin community will be by the end of this year? I think we'll continue to grow at an exponential rate. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this year we're about 10 times larger than we are. So we've got about 2.5 million people approximately in Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, no good numbers, but that's ab about the guess most people say. I would expect we'll be at a 25 million people by the end of the year and we'll continue growing exponentially thereafter. And uh, if uh, you ask me about my prediction for the price of Bitcoin, I think uh, in the next couple of years, one Bitcoin will be worth exactly one Bitcoin because we'll stop worrying about the other currencies. That's a very interesting point and very different from other answers we hear. So I, I appreciate that. Um, well, I think that's all the questions I had. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Andreas. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And thank you for organizing, well, lending your name to organizing this wonderful event. Oh, it's very exciting, and I'm very glad to be here today. Thank you. Thank you.